I'm Michelle Rahal. Welcome to No Apologies. The United States Grand Prix started in 1908 in Savannah, Georgia, and ran for three years before moving elsewhere. The first race was won by Lewis Wagner in a Fiat. Yeah, Fiat's been around that long. The last U.S. Grand Prix was won in 2007 by Lewis Hamilton in a McLaren Mercedes. Let's fast forward a few years. A huge rift grew between Bernie Ecclestone, known as the Formula One Supremo, and Tony George from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. No GP has been held in the U.S. since. Ecclestone, in typical fashion, insulted the American Formula One fans by saying that F1 didn't need America. Well, that was then and this is now. The Formula One team principals, primarily Martin Whitmarsh of McLaren Mercedes, came out this week and he said, quote, all teams recognize the importance of being successful in America and are willing to return there after failing to turn the Indianapolis races into a big success in the past. Well, he went on to say, quote, North America, frankly, doesn't need Formula One. So I think it's for us to go and prove to North America that this is an interesting sport and spectacle and something that's worthwhile them taking an interest in. Finally, they've recognized the obvious. We don't need them, but it would be great to have them. There's nothing like the sound of a Formula One engine screaming by at 18,000 RPMs. But, and there's always a but, where will they go? The press is to believe it'll be Austin, Texas. That's right. Tabo Hellman has reached an agreement with Bernie Ecclestone to build a Formula One track 10 miles from the airport and run a race in 2012. Great, everybody says. What they don't say is when you deal with Bernie Ecclestone, you deal with the devil. My sources who've done business with Ecclestone tell me that Hellman has signed a letter of intent with Bernie. Well, let me translate that for you. You pay Ecclestone two to three million dollars, he signs the letter, but he makes sure that it has about 25 nearly impossible demands that have to be met before you get the date. The big question is, without a huge amount of money from the government, how can Hellman come up with $350 million? And that's about what it's going to take to build this track. My opinion? Bernie walks off with a few million in his pocket to pay for jet fuel, and Hellman crashes like the Hindenburg. My best advice would have been for Tava to have read the book Bernie's Game by Terry Lovell, because in the end, it really is Bernie's game. I'm Michelle Rahal. No apologies. <laughs>